Radio. Yeah, good sis. I'm looking good. Get our little pool. Good morning, welcome back. Um, woke up, she's a bit, bit gloomy this morning. I come down for a fish. Well, oh, because it's a bit calmer out there. I did actually hook a few fish then, but then I casted my lure off, so that's no good. Um, we're having a few fridge dramas this morning. We woke up and the fridge is not working at all. Last night, it was getting a bit warmer. Like the fridge was on about uh, 13 degrees, I think, when we went to bed, which is no good. And then, yeah, woke up this morning and she's off. I think it would have something to do with the um, no sun because it runs on solar. But yeah, pretty frustrating because we're probably going to lose all our food now. But you get that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to head back up now. I think Brittany should be cooking breakfast by now. Uh, we'll probably pack up and then I think we're going to head into Albany today. Try to figure out what's wrong with this fridge and um, yeah, just check out Albany. We'll probably stay at a caravan park tonight because we need to do some washing. <laughs> Got no clothes left really. But yeah, that's the plan today. Get out of here. Tackle that sandy three kilometre little road. Should be alright though, we'll get out there and pump the tyres back up and yeah, head into Albany. We're only about an hour away from Albany. So, won't take too long, but yeah, hopefully we can get this fridge sorted because that's a drama if that doesn't work. Valley of the Giants treetop walk. Righto, we made it away from our campsite. A little bit stressful, we got a bit lost, but <laughs> we got out of there. Um, I figured out what's wrong with the fridge, just blew a fuse, so we went and got a new fuse from Servo, and she's running again, so that's good. She's a long way down there. Kind of boring, you can feel the whole thing bouncing as you're walking. <laughs> Pretty cool though, we're right up the top of the trees. Should get a good view from this platform. This is the highest point in the walk here. It says on this sign here. Congratulations, you're the highest point of the tree top walk, 40 meters above ground level. Tell you what, that looks like more than 40 meters, but There's a sign back there saying that these trees are about 70 meters tall, some of them, and about 150 years old. They're pretty old, but not quite as old as my parents. 70. Kane found a new home. It's his door. Fuck, that would have been a big tree at some point. <laughs> Welcome to my home. <laughs> they have a go at it. It's crazy. They're all burnt out. Pretty cool. So I just read on a sign back there that there was a major bushfire that come through here 
1937 and that's what burnt all the trees out like that must have been a big fire to burn some of these trees just on our way to albany and we spotted a alpaca farm i don't think i've ever even seen an alpaca before so we've come in here 16 bucks each and they give you this little bag of food there's a few other animals here there's birds and stuff right there yeah have a bit of a look around feed some alpacas oh my god it's all little chickens little baby chickens it's little baby chickens Nice, sir. Oh, there he goes. There you go. There's the alpacas. Hey. Look at this. Look how cute. He's cute. He looks like Bugs Bunny. Oh, he's very timid. Anybody's name? You're coming at me very aggressively. You're unsure about me, and I am unsure about you. Oh, I'm not sure I'm trying to see. Come here. Look at these two guys Just sitting in the middle of. That's the right one. What's he doing? He's just looking at her. He's like, I'm sleeping. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, spontaneous. Yeah, only 16 bucks. You get to cruise around, feed the animals, play with the little baby animals and stuff. Definitely worth doing. Just on the way to um, Albany. They have a lot of baby animals and you can play with them and stuff. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, righty-o, we are gonna keep going into Albany. We're about like an hour away, maybe. Yeah, we'll see you there. Welcome to Albany. We've made it, finally. Thank God. <laughs> we had to call, oh, I had to call around like five different yeah, we're just staying at a um, caravan park tonight because we've got a uh, big bag of clothes that need to be washed and a shower wouldn't go astray either. I reckon yeah, people think... have been smelling us before they've been seeing us. Look. Yeah, so we're doing it. this is probably the last one for the time that we're here. Maybe one right at the end, but we will see how we go. But yeah, this is set up seen a hundred times now same same it is packed in here caravans everywhere but we need to do some washing so what can you do eh? just doing a bit of house cleaning cleaning up all the gear shiver only been six days and the car was already a mess so yeah, clean her all up while well, we got the chance. Just had a shower and our um, clothes are in the wash right now. So This is what I'll good. be wearing when I get to Esperance. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty keen to get to Esperance. It's still five hours away, so. But yeah. it's a lot closer than when we were in. Yeah. So. And we just did a three and a half hour drive yesterday. Yeah, we've done a few big days on the road. But, I think, not tomorrow, but the next day we shall be where we want to be. Rightio, we've done all the chores that we had to do. Washing, showers and stuff. 
packed up the car. Finished the exciting pack. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be flicking this little uh, Nomad bloody, I couldn't tell you what it is to be honest with you. What is it, floating stick bait. I'll be flicking off the rocks at the front there and see if I can't catch myself a Western Australian <gasps> salmon or something. You forgot to tell him. Oh yeah, <laughs> we pulled up for lunch on the way here and um, we're at a little creek. I just had a few casts and got myself my first Australian, oh, Western Australian fish. Just a little brim. Oh, not really, like a 30 centimetre brim, so. Not bad size, but um, yeah, we didn't film it because we were just having lunch, so. And it was like nowhere. quite random. So, got the monkey off me back, now I can catch something decent. I hope, anyway. But these rocks look pretty promising, so. Let's see how we go, there's some bloke out there already. Hopefully he's not caught all the fish. Let's give go. It a whirl. That's came there. I got a little seagull. The white thing. Look, I'm game. I'm in white pants. Living my la vida loca. Living my nippy. I should have gave him a GoPro. Because I don't think I'm making it over there. I don't have that type of footing yet. I'm working my way up to that. I have baby feet. Baby fragile, soft feet. Oh no, he's too far to even hear me. <laughs> Alrighty, I think she's carrying on a bit. I'll show you how you do it. Easy. Just need to watch where you're going. No fish. You want your net? That's a good one, eh? Yeah, man. That's a big squid. Finally. Jesus. Yeah, good sis. Good size. Yeah, man. Woo. Do you get a few of them here? How's that, eh? Old mate, he's a local here at Albany, and he reckons no good fishing here, but good squid fishing. And then just as he said it, bang, you got that big squid. That's the biggest fucking squid I've probably ever seen in real life. He done well, I might have to get a squid lure on in the morning and give it a whirl. No good on the fish in front though. We're doing a cooking segment with Kane. It's currently 6.30, dinner time. What is it? Alrighty, tonight we're having, what is it here? Herb and garlic pork cutlets. Yum. With a few different veggies, got broccolini, carrot, onion, and as always, garlic. This is the carrot we got from the Bunbury Farmers Market. It is. There's all our veggies laid out. 
and uh, pork. We were going to use the camp kitchen in here, but she's busy at this time of night. So back to the old sturdy gas cooker. To be expected, though. Yeah, it's dinner time, so. It's nearly seven o'clock. Yeah. All right, let's get her on. It's nice not cooking tonight. I think I'm in the good books. I think that's why he's cooking. No, I'm just fucking hungry and you're being lazy. Oh, I'm drinking. I'm pulling a cane. <laughs> no. But it's nice though. It's not enough to cook. I've been saying every day so far, I'm like cooking segments with Brittany for breakfast, cooking segments for, with Brittany for lunch. Oh, not lunch, dinner. We've just been pulling ham sandwiches out for lunch, eh? Yeah. Because I was like, I'm sick of it. We're doing easy stuff. <laughs> and also, you're on the move around lunchtime anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, I was pretty busy, so the old ham sandwich. We might make it a salami sandwich next. What do you reckon? Yeah. Something different. Or even a wrap. This bread. He doesn't like bread. No, not really. Alrighty, there's the veggie. All done, looking good. Got our little pork chop thing those on there. It's all smelling good, it's all looking good. She's all coming together. Righty oh, we're all done here. Oh, she's looking good, looking very good. Well, today has come to an end. Hope you've enjoyed watching our adventures this week. We, um, where are we going? Hope Town. Hope Town tomorrow. So Three and a half hour drive from where we are. Yep, three and a half hours, and we'll be about two hours away from Esperance, our Not even. final destination. An hour and a half. An hour and a half, even better. Rightio, yeah. well, hope you've enjoyed watching. Cheers for watching, and we'll see you next week. Cheers.